Hi, my name is Brian Woodmancy from Cashco Incorporated, and I'm here today to show you a few things with our Ranger QCT control valve. Mounted to the Ranger is the ABB TZ IDC smart positioner. We have the positioner mounted on the front, an air supply regulator, and the Ranger. The first thing we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to field reverse the control valve that is currently in the air to open fail close position to the air to close fail open position. And then subsequently we will be remounting the positioner and calibration. Okay, so the first step will be to remove the fittings from the positioner. Disconnect the tubing. We're also going to remove the air regulator. Now we're ready to remove the positioner. The positioner is mounted to a mounting plate, which is removed by removing three small screws slightly behind the positioner. And now we'll set the positioner off to the side. As you'll see, we have the slot which mounts the positioner to it. That's how the feedback is provided to the positioner. Now I'm going to release the locking on the, the hand wheel and I'm going to engage it slightly. That will reduce the tension on the linkage as it is applied to the levers. Next we'll remove the nameplate and cover giving us access to the valve's linkage to the actuator. Now with the cover off we can see the actuator linkage, the levers which connect the valve stem. We have put this hand wheel down somewhat so our linkage should be loose. It should feel loose. If it's tight we need to engage the hand wheels a little bit more. Next step will be removing the three cap screws on the front. Removing the cover on the front side of the valve. This piece holds the bearing in place which guides the stem and adapter piece. Now we'll remove the housing which is two pieces which holds the bearing in place. and the adapter which mounts into our positioner. Now it's time to remove the screw and nut which hold the linkage onto the levers. And use an Allen wrench on the front side, a half inch wrench to hold the nut. Now the levers can be removed. Make note there's a spacer between the two levers. Now at this time we can remove the entire body subassembly by removing three screws. Now we have our body removed. Now that we've removed the body, we're going to spin the actuator all the way around, 180 degrees. Now our plug side will be facing this open access where the nameplate cover was at. 
As you notice, your screw holes here, here, and here along the front, exactly the same on the back. The one thing to note is make sure that this linkage that you can see, see hanging down here, that is on this side of the valve stem, it has to be on this side in order to work properly. And we go back in with the same three screws, tighten them up. About 12 to 15 foot pounds should be sufficient. Now we're still making sure that our linkage is on this side of the valve. Now we're ready to install our levers and reconnect the linkage. The valve is in the closed position right now. So what we're doing, we're changing from air to open, fail, close, to air to close, fail, open. So we're going to rotate our plug 90 degrees so it's in the open position. Now we'll install our levers. Pull the linkage up out of the way, slide that back in there. Spacer between the two levers. It may be necessary to change the position just slightly to work that lever in there. You're making sure that they are in line with each other. And I'm going to use the hand wheel to bring the linkage down slightly. And we install our screw. Then we can put this nut on behind it. Now before I tighten this connection down, I'm going to take my positioner adapter, I'm going to fit it on there to make sure that my levers are leaving room for this adapter to catch. Make note of the position of the slot. Since we do have the linkage somewhat engaged, it's going to be just a little bit over. So when I release this hand wheel, it'll be straight up and down. When tightening the front screws on, be sure to tighten them evenly so not to create a side load. Now that the bearing is held in place, it's okay now to release the hand wheel, disengage that. Now we're slots straight up and down. This time we can remount our positioner. Making note that the quadrant of the position will have to be changed. So to do that, I'm going to remove this piece, the mounting piece, and the adapter. As you can see, there's four small cap screws which hold that on. I'm going to remove this adapter, and this part's very important. The valve's operational quadrant is between here and here. There are two small arrows that point inward towards each other. Since the valve was set up, or the positioner was set for the air to open fail close position, we need to rotate it to the indicator is now over here on the other arrow. Now in relationship to the positioner, we still want our adapter piece to be running straight up and down. The adapter piece has a second set screw that allows you to do this. With that locked in place, now I can remount the positioner. With the mounting plate firmly back in place, Slide the slotted 
adapter into the slot on the front of the Ranger and attach with the three small screws. Now we can reattach our cover plate. Now we're going to remount our regulator, the supply regulator, which now we're on the other side, so got to take a bolt back off. And we're going to put him back where the air regulator was. And we also have to replace the fitting on the other side because the Ranger has two different air connections in the actuator. So we're going to take out a plug. And we're going to put it on the other side. Now we're going to mount the supply regulator and bracket. And replace our fittings. Making note that the supply goes in the bottom and the outlet is the middle port here. There's actually three ports available, one here, one here, and one on top, we will not use the one on top. Now we'll be removing the front cover of the positioner and we will make our electrical connections. And we also will be bringing in shop air into the side of our supply regulator. Okay, now with our positioner mounted, we've made our electrical connections. We have our four to 20 milliamp signal generator. Our air connection's been made. Now it's time to commission the positioner. We're going to put, press the enter button and hold. You should see the word contrast come up and we hold it until it changes to ADLROT, adjust rotary, and I release and press again, it counts down from three, two, one, then release, and it'll begin its auto start sequence.
Now our calibration and auto start sequence has been completed. We can see we have four milliamps, zero percent on the position. This particular valve was set for reverse acting. So as we increase by 25%, 50%, 50%, 50%, and so on. Now this valve and positioner is calibrated. On behalf of Cash Crew Incorporated, we thank you for watching this instructional video. For further information and the use of your product, please consult our website, www.cashco.com, for further IOM materials as well as the IOM also included with the ABB positioner as it is mounted on your valve. Thank you and good day.